Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day nine of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, 3075, maximize happiness of selected children. Yeah, so it seems like we pro I probably did this in a contest recently ish. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Uh, whew, very tiring day. Today, Wednesdays are my double days. Uh, and by that, I mean, I. It, it, I, I go to the gym and I uh, do bench and I squat and then I go outside and run for six, seven miles. So I'm really tired today and I watch the Knicks, which is very tiring. The, the games are always close and really intense, but uh, I'm glad they won. So I, I, I'm, I'm happy. You could say my happiness as a ch child is maximized for today. Can't wait to go to sleep right after this. I ate a lot of food too. So, oh, I should actually... I should actually eat an orange right after this, but um, all right. Let's actually get. Let's actually. Hmm. You're given a happiness of way, uh, and a way happiness of like fan and a positive energy. Okay. There are n children standing in a queue, with I child has the happiness while your happiness survive. You want to select k ch children from those n ch children in k. Uh, man, I'm. I'm I don't know. K children from those N children in K turns. In each turn, when you select a child, the happiness value of all the children that have not been selected till this till now decreased by one. I feel like I remember this vaguely, and I remember making a silly mistake on it. But um, um, but yeah. So this is probably a sorting problem, uh, because basically the the idea here. Is just that no matter what, let, let's say we have n is the, n is equal to the length of the happiness, right? It doesn't. It seems like if all the numbers are big enough, every turn you take, one um, one um, every turn you take, how, however number of children you have left, that you know, you decrement, right? By that, I mean, like, let's say you have a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, and whatever, uh, dot, 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 right? Every turn, it doesn't matter which one you take, and, I, okay, this is a bad example, they're all the same, but let's even say it's here, right? Um, it doesn't matter if you take it from here, or, or if you select this one first, or this one set first, we, we're losing minus four, ignoring the dot, 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 we're losing four on the first turn, three on the second turn, two on the third turn, and one on the last turn. The only exception is if you have a low enough number. Let's say you have number one. Well, if you don't pick this one on the first turn, then now it goes to zero, right? So that's basically the idea. And so in that way, we probably... <clears throat> hmm. And in that way... You actually want to um, mac pick the maximize one first, right? Because then now, if this is already one, and we weren't going to get to it anyway, or maybe we are, but if we don't get to it, then this was going to be zero anyway. So then now we actually make it cheaper to on a turn basis. So now from that, you you can say this is greedy. And on that greedy, you can, um, yeah, you can do it. And if you want a more formal proof, you could do an exchange argument. Let's say you have two things um, and you want to select one. Well, obviously you take the maximum one, right? And let's say, you know, now you want to select two. Well, in this case, there's only two decisions, right? It's a thousand first and then one. Uh, but the second time, oh, maybe this is not a good example, but, but, because I think in this example, the exchange argument is that they both are the same. But, but let's say that... Um, yeah, I mean, I think the exchange argument <laughs> will be good enough if you really want to uh, use the proof about this. But yeah, so let's sort this. Reverse is equal to true. We want the on top. And then for I... Uh, H and enumerate happiness. Um, we've only one K of these, right? 
So, um, up to K, so total is equal to zero, right? Uh, total we added by H minus I. Because on the first turn, we minus zero. On the second turn, we minus one. And on the third turn, you minus uh, two, right? And of course, we have to make sure that we are still adding positive things. And that should be it. I think I forgot this positive thing last time I did it. Um, yeah, yeah. So at least I'm learning from my mistake. But that was also 15. Ah, I just saw. Uh, I, I, eh, I skipped it too quickly. But I, it was 1,500 days. Yay. Round number, 1,500. Which is also ridiculous. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was only two months ago, so it wasn't that long ago. I don't know why they gave it to us, but I forgot because I, I, I think, I guess I just rushed it. I mean, I wrote the same thing, but I forgot the zero case, um, the negative case in my case, I suppose. But yeah, this is going to be analog and due to the sorting. Can we do faster? Um, yeah, I mean, this is n log n, but you can also just limit it by k, right? Because in this case now, we only want the first k. Um, so then you can, if you use a heap, you can do this in n log k. And yeah, and that would be it. I mean, same idea, except we use a heap instead. Uh, yeah, and you just he top k items. Pretty straightforward. Um, so I, I, I'm not going to go and do it. Uh, that's all I have for today. Let me know what you think. I'll do one extra problem after this. Thanks for watching. Go next. Stay good. Stay healthy. Do good mental health. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.